Hey guys, Kristen Lake here. Welcome back to my channel. Awesome to have you here to talk about user testing. So for those who are new to UX design or you're just venturing out and getting a feel for it, user testing or usability testing, UX research, like this is all under UX research and it's really important to obviously improve the user experience of whatever your product is, whether it's a web app, website, software, what have you. And in my last week of, well, the last couple weeks of my internship, I've had the opportunity to create a solution for something going on in the current software and I made some designs and it was suggested to me to do a usability test and the team lead gave me the green light to do it. And uh, this past Friday, I actually finalized my prototype and I am about to submit my user test. So let's talk about how I'm doing that. So the very first thing you need to do to even determine that you need to do a user test is to nail down what your goals are. Nail down like what you want to get out of it. Obviously, I can't go into detail of mine, but I want to make sure that my design communicates what I want it to communicate to the user to get them to complete a certain task successfully. So pretty much without going to detail about my actual goals, it's to, I want to receive behavioral data and to have my users answer design related questions like, were you able to successfully complete this task with the design provided, with the prototype I, you know, I created, things like that. And when you do this, you need to pretty much understand research, research like the matter, the field, like science, technology, like there's two different types, there's quantitative and qualitative, and I believe that's the best way to figure out what your goals are based on the questions that you want to ask them. Number two, <laughs> you need to figure out what's the best format or like best setting that you want to have your study, and so for what I'm doing, it's going to be on the phone, so I need to create a way where I can uh, view what the users will be doing on their cell phone. And so by choice, we are using a software out there. There's tons of different softwares like usertesting.com. There's a ton of others like that where they um, have people who get paid to use different products uh, or different prototypes. and you can also do a field, like a field test or field study where you actually sit with the person or you are where they're working or you're just like one-on-one -on -one in person versus watching a recording, which is what usertesting.com does. So my company does all these different types. We do field studies, we do um, like online stuff similar to usertesting.com. We do stuff with, you know, our coworkers. Like what's the best way for you to get the best results and think about that environment that you need. Three, you need to figure out how many users you want for this. Obviously more the better, but you need to also think about the complexity, uh, obviously what your goals are and, and so forth. This is something I still am not certain about. I just talked to my coworkers, team lead, to decide number of users that we need to take the test. But like I said, in any type of study, any type of experiment, more is better, but you also have to think back to what your goals are and what type of research you're doing, whether it's behavioral, quant quantitative, so forth. Recruiting your participants. That's number four, and it's pretty much like choosing your demographics. Like what age group, uh, where do they live, like who is really going to use, who is going to be using the product you're designing, and you want to get users who match up to that to give you the best idea. Number five, so writing the task. So we chose the goals, like what we want to find out, but now you have to actually write down uh, the steps that the user needs to take to actually complete the task. I mean, if they're able to complete <laughs> the process that you designed and see how it works. So we use a, we have a content writers, which has been pretty awesome, so I get help with that during my internship. Uh, I know not all places have that. Maybe 
you will have to do it yourselves. Maybe there's a UX person on your team who specializes in UX writing. So uh, different companies have different things. There is so much more seasonability testing and those are just some of the things I've learned on my internship that I'm implementing right now currently. You can go to awesome websites like Nielsen Norman Group. I use them a lot, a lot, a lot. And I highly recommend you check them out. I'm gonna, in fact, I'm going to put an article below. And that's something that I use to help me. They have more things in their checklist for usability testing. But to keep it simple today and show you what I'm doing, that's, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, comment below if you have any questions. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.